Hi, my name is Leslie Trimble. I teach science in the upper school at the Episcopal Academy, which is an independent school just outside of Philadelphia. I published a paper in the December issue of The Science Teacher about creating student websites. Nitrate. It looks good. It didn't get too much. Yeah, he did so many good things. It didn't get, like, How was he playing with Al Spencer? It didn't get Science teachers today are using so many different modalities in their classroom. They're using inquiry-based projects, project-based learning, problem-based learning. Um, and when students do that sort of work, they're always very eager to show their investigations to other people. So I experimented with a lot of different formats. I felt that lab reports and PowerPoints are often very limiting. Um, but then I started experimenting with websites. I found that students were very motivated because a website lets you share the information with a much wider audience. And it's very versatile in terms of what content students can include. When students build a website, they can ask scientific questions and then use a variety of sources to answer the questions. So they can research, they can conduct their own investigations, um, and then they can evaluate all of that information. Students can use text, they can include photos, they can include videos, graphs, a lot of visual information. A lot of times my students will actually make their own video where they talk through some or explain some phenomenon that they're researching. So it really gives them an opportunity to communicate about science in a lot of different modalities. I really love the, for the whole format of your site and then I like how you put like yeah. interesting data, like particularly the caffeine thing. Like they usually find it very easy to use the tools that um, I talk about in the article. So they're often running very quickly and they become very excited about it. Usually students will beg me to make a website whenever we do any sort of investigation rather than any other presentation modality because they find it just really exciting. Examples I give, they do some research on um, coffee farming and coffee plantations and then they try to persuade members of our own school community to change their consumption habits based on the information that they uncover. Um, I think the great thing about websites is it's, it's incredibly versatile. You can build a website on any science information so it works across all disciplines in science. I hope you find the article interesting and useful, and I hope that um, other science teachers will try creating websites with their students. I'm sure that your students will find it as interesting and motivating as mine do. Thanks so much.